expand and simplify. Here we have a couple of massive questions to work on. We'll start with number 7. The first step will be to apply the power of negative 2 to all these elements within the parentheses. So the 2 is just going to wait outside. And we're going to have 3 to the power of negative 2. A to the power of 4. To the power of negative 2 will be a to the negative 8. Of course, we just multiply the exponents. b to the power of negative 2. To the power of negative 2 will be b to the 4. And c to the negative 2. To the negative 2 will be again c to the 4, just like the b. All over. Hold on a second. Let me just make this straight line. It's better. It's kind of sticking down, but it's fine. Um, all over 3a squared, b squared, c squared. Okay, so now um, we don't we no longer have an, an exponent, so I'm actually just going to make a small change here, though. I want to send the 3 to the negative 2 down to the bottom as 3 squared, so that's gone. So we just have the 2 on top, and now I'm just going to combine all the variables. So a to the power of negative 8 over a squared is just a to the power of negative 10, since negative 8 minus 2 is negative 10. Then we have b to the power of 4 over b squared. 4 minus 2 is 2, so we have b squared on top now. And same thing with the c. c to the 4 over c squared is just c squared on top on the, or in the denominator, or sorry, numerator. Great, so down below we have 3 squared times 3. And now we ended up with a, an a to the power of negative 10. This might seem silly that I sent it to the top, now I'm going to send it back down to the bottom. But it's not a bad way to do it if you want to do it uh, step by step like this, right? So a to the power of negative 10 in the numerator corresponds to a to the power of 10 in the denominator. So the signal gets cancelled and we make it a positive exponent. Great, so now let me just simplify everything and we have 2b squared, c squared, all over. 3 squared is 9 times 3, 27, a to the 10, and that's as far as we can go simplifying this. So we're done. Fantastic, now how about question 8? Again, I'm going to apply the power of 2 to every component within the parenthesis. 6 squared is 36. Actually, um, no, actually, yeah, I'll, I'll, expand, I'll expand it. I was debating whether to expand it or just keep it as 6 squared. I'll expand it. So 36. Now x to the power of negative 5 squared is just x to the power of negative 10. y cubed squared is just y to the 6, since 3 times 2 is 6. z to the negative 1 squared is z to the power of negative 2. Again, because negative 1 times 2 is negative 2. Down at the bottom, we have 3 squared. Now, again, the 2 applies to every component within the parentheses. 3 squared is 9. x to the 4 squared is x to the 8. 4 times 2 is 8. y to the power of negative 2 squared is y to the power of negative 4. Okay, so here we have 36 over 9, which is just 4. The negative stays there, right? Nothing happened there. Um, now what I'll do is that I'll actually simplify this in a slightly different way than I did over here. I'll just send the x to the power of negative 10 down to the bottom. I'll send the y to the power of negative 4 up top and the z to the negative 2 down to the bottom. So after all this, what are we going to have? We're going to have y to the power of 6 times y to the 4, right? Because the negative 4 became positive 4 in the numerator, while it was negative 4 in the denominator. All over x to the power of 10. Again, we switch the signal, right? So that's gone. And it becomes x to the power of positive 10 times x to the power of 8. That remained there. And the z the negative 2 comes down as z squared down at the bottom. 
Okay, so y to the power of 6 times y to the power of 4 is y to the 10. 6 plus 4, 10. We're multiplying so we can add all over. The same thing here, x to the power of 10 times x to the power of 8 would be just x to the power of 18. 10 plus 8, 18. And we still just have z squared. So that's it. This is our final answer. This is, by the way, a 10. Didn't, doesn't look like a nice 0, though. 10. Y to the power of 10. That's it.